Good day folks and welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Le Mans, we're at the Circuit de la Sarthe, we are doing the World Touring Car 700. We've got a potential earning here of around about 850,000 credits. For half an hour's work we've got PP of 700 target. nitrous and we're using racing tyres and wets and it will rain we're against a field generally of gr4 cars there are some others slipped in there that are a little bit monstery but our choice of car for today is gonna be honda ra27265 we've used this since it's been released quite a bit we've run it around a few circuits we're just going to now see how dominant it could be around here let's just see if we can pop softs on we don't own the softs let's see if we can Let's just see if we can purchase some and see where it puts us on the PP. See if we can use the softs the first couple of laps. And look at that, just inside the 700 target. So we'll use the softs for the first two laps and we will run from there. So settings are going to be racing softs, fully a customable suspension customizable suspension you can freeze frame that and you can download that as you see fit just pause it and you can do it as you see fully customizable 10 20 20 no nitrous fully customizable manual gearbox i'm just going to whiz that out to 350 100 on the power restrictor 100 on the output adjustment for the fully customizable ecu we haven't got any downforce high rpm turbo racing silencer is standard no need for the handbrake no need for anything else everything else is clear that's us done off we go to the track here we are at the track settings will be assist traction control one default abs everything else off settings for the controller you'll notice there's been a change here if you're an avid watcher open configuration steering sensitivity zero max torque five max feedback sensitivity six and that's just come over from doing the latest time trial let's dive into it right then folks brake balance is front fuel map will leave as it is genuinely going to attempt to get eight laps today i've only ever done seven in any other car so we'll see if this one works okay we've got a little bit of a noise problem there at the start bit of a bug where the sound goes away when the aircraft goes over the top but i think that's supposed to simulate deafening noise where they're louder than the car and this being a historic f1 will be tremendously loud anyway Ooh. Around the outside of the posts we don't get a penalty for that because we went the long way what we're going to attempt to do then is two laps change if it rains we'll change for uh, for wets if it doesn't we'll try and potentially stay on for a third lap on the softs and then we'll see when it rains but because the rain has got really quite random sometimes it's tremendously hard sometimes it, it's not so hmm, interesting how this one's going to go we never really know in the last few updates they've really increased the rain strength but they've made the race really varied so we've done this three or four times now as as a demonstration of this race but since we got this honda ra 272 it is this has been like the meta car for me a lot of people do like to use the the mazda but to get it down to 700 pp well 
This car fits beautifully with the soft tyres at 700 pp and you will just get three laps out of it. But you've got to watch out on the third lap with the tyres. It does like to turn right under braking and I haven't worked that out yet. I haven't worked that out of this this setup. So at the moment we're in third place, making our way up to second. We've really cut through the traffic. And it's a beautiful sunny day and we're just waiting for when the rain's gonna come. Now as we get past Mr. McEwen, we're gonna eye up Mr. Blazan and this is gonna be my least favourite corner for the track, this one. I like to come through it off the power because it generally tries to throw me off the circuit every time I go round it on the power. So we're just being cautious there as we've gone past Mr. Blazan into first place. First gear for this corner and then we'll short shift through. And away we go. No rain on the radar. We're gonna get ahead. Still gonna try and drive within ourselves. There's no point throwing it into corners. We're not chasing the clock per se. We, we're pretty sure that the eighth lap is really quite achievable without kicking yourself. It's not gonna be like the cappuccino round Kyoto where you've got to deliberately hit a specific time on each lap. We don't know when this rain's coming. See the cloud forming though, can't we? So it's not far away. Clouds building. Right, that's lap one done. We're three seconds ahead. And we've missed the apex. We're probably going to get a penalty. We tried to slow down. Didn't quite happen though. Oh, it's quite relaxed, it's let us have that, but has it taken the clean race bonus away? That'll be the question. And we're on to lap two. Here we go, charging away. two seconds in the lead 25 minutes of the race to go so that out lap was a 403 so 30 minutes of the race four times eight times four sixteen thirty two doing the maths in his head we should be all right just got a factor in two pit stops and those pit stops are going to be about 30 seconds each, I think. So even at 32 minutes, that at a minute 33, that's inside the eighth lap. That's going to be an absolute, absolute definite possibility. Ninth lap, not a chance. Seven seconds in the lead. Got to break, got to find my breaking point here with no markers. The end of that fence. Just slow the car down to second gear, 80 odd mile an hour. Beautifully done, braking through the apex. Don't let the car kick out on you. Now we're about 50% of the tyres at this point and they start to degrade really quite heavily. No rain on the radar that I can see. No reason to stop on the end of this lap then. and away we go again 11 seconds in the lead now my thought is the majority of this lot behind us will be pitting at the end of this lap maybe or is it just going to be one to pit at the end of this lap and the rest will go on to lap 3 I think I think that's what it'll be just going to ease off of this corner see how the car weeks yeah you see that's what it does that's what it does and I don't don't know why I haven't worked out why that happens and I might be 
genuinely coming in too fast, but it just tends to go away like that. Now we've got rain, top left hand corner. Now I think that rain isn't going to be that much of a problem. Looking at the colour of it, the damage has gone away that I just picked up from it in that barrier. Nine seconds in the lead. We lost a little bit of time, which doesn't help. Slid to the right again there. Pretty grey over there, grey and dingy. Look at it. I think we're good for the third lap. Looking at the rain. Not seeing anything particularly heavy. Just got to go steady on these tyres. Touch the brakes and it's gone to the right again. Just be wary of that, folks. It is a little bit unpleasant. If you brake too hard, it will shoot off to the right for whatever reason. The only thing I can think about that is some, something to do with the diff. But I don't know why it would favour the right hand side, unless that's just something about the torque and how it's manifested in the engine itself. I don't mean the engine of the car, I mean the game engine about how the torque reacts and where the gearbox is and how that manifests itself. So the rain's just about to start, it's just about to splatter down and we're going to go in and take, well we'll just have to assess where the rain is. We know we've got a pit stop, we just don't know what tyres we're going to need on the other side. going to take my time to get into this corner keep control of the car I'm not seeing any rain on the rainwater gauge take it smoothly we're up by half a second on the old fastest lap which comes in at 4.10.619 the previous 4.03 doesn't count because it was the opening lap and that back left tyre is looking just a little bit like it's in need of a bit of a holiday but look at that look at that rain cloud we're going to be through that rain and into the open skies again and we're going to just stay on socks for the entire race I think as long as we don't get any more rain this isn't going to be very deep so we can go another set of softs I would suggest Just on the side for 20 minutes of the race, just gonna... Oh, we start to get a little bit heavier. Let's just be a little bit gentle. Now, going to the rain gauge, which is down there. Ultimately, it's saying that the slicks are the primary tyre. the rain gets a little bit deeper and it gets above that first level then intermediates become the primary time I'm just going to ease off here because I don't want to lose it again like we did last car time round it tried to do it little swine a little bit dry then wet dry then wet you can see where the rain's gone across the track About to pop out the cloud, out of the rain. A little bit wet down here, but it's fine. That left tyre is going to be good. We're 19 seconds ahead of the pack. I don't think anybody's going to pit for, for wets at this point. We're just going to pit for a change of tyres and a splash of juice. changed down a second which I shouldn't have done I was just thinking about how much fuel we're going to need 
Now we're going to need five laps of fuel, I think, coming out the other side. So if we take 5.2, I think we'll be good. And we're going to have to stop for... We don't actually have to stop, do we? Because we could... We could don't refuel. We'll go quicker at this point. Then we'll take what fuel we need at the next pit stop. And that would be us closer. So we've got to try and do three laps on this, which is, which we can do. Then we'll take one lap of fuel. Everybody else is coming with us. We're on 56%. We're not going to take any. People are on 5, 14 and 2. Just waiting for everybody else. See if anybody flies past. Here we go. 17 minutes, 10 seconds remaining. We're in. Change the tyres. See the sticky on the back tyres? That was dead good. They look really worn. We've got tread and we're away. 17 minutes to go. So that tells us we've got a minute in the pits if we do nice little four minute laps. We need to just whiz that gauge back to the rain. The rain's disappeared off to the bottom right hand corner so that rain as per previous hasn't affected us much. We're still very much in the slick territory. And we are just seven seconds ahead. That might be a penalty. As we slid off there, we'll see. We've got rain on the top portion of the track there. Where's that going to come? Oh, I don't think that's coming very quickly. That looks to be a little bit far off. We, we'll get around, I think, before that arrives. We've got a little bit of turn in there on the brakes as we turned into there, but let's just be gentle, careful with it. Treat it like a lady. 11 seconds in the lead. So 15.38 to go. That rain doesn't look like it's coming near us. That rain looks like it's going to just slide on by. That would be dead good if it did. It's going to break on the end of that fence on the right hand side. 80 mile an hour as we turn in. There we go. Beautiful. not sure about that rain. Is that just going to drive on by? I think it is. Tip top of route. Keep going. Sixteen seconds in the lead. Still a chance that eight laps are possible. Just going to break early just because I don't like this corner. I went to the dry again down a second. Sling it round, avoid the gravel, beautiful. First gear, get around. That'll be lap four, we're going to do five and six on these days. A bit more rain in that top right hand corner, look. Oh, that's not friendly. Go away. Don't want you here. Disappear. Blow on by. Days. Come on. There we go. So just while we're getting into this, folks, for those of you that watch the, watch the videos and you, you watch them because you like to race against us, etc., etc., you're going to see some changes in the next couple of days. We are advancing on, we are progressing folks, a PlayStation 5 will appear and we will start using the PlayStation 5 as the base platform 
and we will start repeating races on the PlayStation 5. We won't be going PSVR at this point. Just got to consider expenditure as a as a normal working man who gets nothing from Facebook, nothing from YouTube, no payments, no nothing. It all has to be self-funded, so we will be self-funding and getting the PlayStation 5. I only play one game, so at the moment, and that'll be. Ah, but we're going to especially look forward to getting a, a go at Sophie. Rain top left hand corner just appeared. So we've got to see where that rain comes to or goes to. People have started to pit again. Lap 5. Haywood and Mangiano. 12 minutes left. Let's try and get that 8th lap. See how we do. We're going to break just on that black sign at the end. Down to second gear, turning it around about 70 up on an hour for 80. Yeah, it was quite stable in there. That's cool. Half a second up on the 410, so we'll be faster than 410, which is good. But that means we need a little bit more time than we've actually got. So. We probably have to just put in a little bit more pressure. Just a little bit too early there, but I'm trying to be safe, not sorry. We've got a little blob of rain potentially coming to see us. And uh, I'd like that little blob of rain to disappear. I don't really want it to drop a massive amount of rain on us. And it looks like it's just about to start a bit of a minor downpour. And then we've got a massive bit of rain to our left-hand side. Just get into this corner quite nicely. Here we go. Break, break. Let's keep going. That rain passed us by with 52 seconds in the lead, folks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pit in now. See if I need to take any fuel. We need to take a minor splash to get us to. I don't believe that. The car just would not break and went straight on. Now I can't get it back to the track. There we go. Now it won't accelerate. That was warts and all, mistake on mistake on mistake, wasn't it? That wasn't a disciplinary kind of process, that wasn't us being disciplined and regimental, let's take the pits now. New set of softs, I'm not going to push that third lap because the tyres get well dodged, I'm going to take softs and then we're going to refuel to 2.1 laps and then we're going to try and push the last two we want eight minutes 20 seconds when we come out the pit if we don't get eight minutes 20 seconds oh we've got to fly to get that eighth lap and then we'll just crawl it at the end come on 12 seconds to go oh. that one crash we had we've had two offs have we eight twenties passed Look how long it is. Oh, we've got a two two absolute flyers. Let's go. Ah, I, think, I don't think we've got enough time. We 
just got to ignore any rain or whatever. The rain has gone either side of us. No drama whatsoever. We've got good tyres. Let's put two stonking laps in. Let's do it. No penalties. We've just got to put absolute flyers in. Let's see how we do. We know this isn't the precisest of setups, but it was designed to work well in rain. Not particularly dry, and it's drying up a view. Look at that mid morning, it feels like. Skies at blue skies out. Blazing, the temperature's going to be up. There's no rain on the radar at all, but a little bit in the bottom right hand corner, and that's going to disappear. The tires are good. Just going to spot for a little bit of change of fence on the right hand side. Could have gone clear a bit faster, I think. On. Nothing on the rain radar at all. Because we're pitting every second lap. There's absolutely no no hot lapping being done. The hot lap is the final lap. But we should have the traction in the tyres to go with that. We've got 4 minutes 18. We've got a minute 18 seconds to get to the end of the lap. And I don't think we're actually going to do that. ABS cut in and out then. Just a minute to get to the finish line. We made the mistake here by breaking a fraction too late, I think. And we were early then, but we're into the corner. Almost slid it into the wall. That would have been quite painful if we'd have hit there. Oh dear. That was a minor blooper. Yeah, we've got a half a second penalty, but look at that. We're almost there on time, so we've just got to make this. We can serve that penalty and potentially still get to the line with, with that eighth lap potential. We were very quick on that last lap. An out lap is a 4.10. They've stopped again behind us, so losing this race, not coming first, isn't a thing. We, that's the first penalty we've had, which is quite good. We didn't have to change down the second there. We could have stayed in third. Everybody's bitten in, so this is time ahead. No rain on the radar. Tyres are looking great, even where all round. The rears are wearing heavier than the front, but happy days. Anybody that's trying this as an example of trying to get the eighth lap to see if you can do it. You 
should know it's possible now because I had an off with two seconds up and we need that two seconds up purely because we're going to lose that time for just half a second as we come out of that turn at the other end of the circuit when we get that penalty. try to break distinctly later into this corner down here 104 ahead of the chasing pack 212 to get to the finish line and the eighth lap that's what the challenge is for this car we know it's possible in others i think it's definitely possible in the uh tomahawk when we used to do that back in the day 1.948s were faster than we have been. One minute 44 to get to the end of the circuit. This is going to be tight. This is going to be drama. All self-inflicted, of course. But it does add to the theatre. It does add to the drama. Just got to break that touch earlier. Let the car roll round. Here's the penalty that we're going to serve. We're 7.9 seconds up on our previous fastest lap, purely because we spun it back there, didn't we? So this could be a 4.03. And if it is, we've got a minute and eight seconds to get to the end. So this is still going to be tight, even though a 4.03 is well possible. And then we're just going to have to coast the last lap because we're not going to have the fuel. that last lap so we just have to sneak it across the last seven seconds up look 40 seconds to get back to the line third gear what we don't want to do is incur a penalty we're sliding 30 seconds we can actually fly the corners and incur a penalty seconds eight laps eight laps folks and there she is eight laps we're on it got 0.2 of fuel left but we've done the eighth lap which we've never done before in a race car other than the Tomo and that was a 4.04 lap time with a penalty. It's not a bad little setup for a little hotchpotch by myself. Borrowed from somebody, of course, somewhere along the line, and I know exactly who it was that passed it to me. But I just modified it a teeny weeny bit to make it suit myself, which kind of hasn't worked, but there we go. Your map to six. all going as long as we can but it'd be 50 mile an hour all the way and everybody else is going to finish and we'll just get to coast this lap and it'd be the longest lap ever because it'd be at 50 mile an hour but it will be done but that's eight laps really know what it's going to do with the fuel I remember doing this a little while ago and I put the fuel on map six and the fuel didn't move for three laps the car just doesn't go fast enough to make the eighth lap so we'll coast in Everybody else has finished. Look, you can see it on the left hand side. So 
So I'm having, there's the fuel gone. So I'm having a bit of a grind, folks, because we're in the process of attempting to get the platinum trophy. Now, as I've just, as I've just said, we're we're on the way to getting a PlayStation Five. We're out of fuel, so we're just going to trundle along at 50 mile an hour. But I've talked to while that's happening, so I'm on the way to completing the game. We're getting a PlayStation Five. I don't think we complete the game. Can complete the game on the PS4. Um, I've got 41 online races to do, and I've got to purchase one more car to make the legends. Everything else is done. I've done the 100 scapes, you're going to see that in another video. Um, I've done the specific scape on the Nürburgring, specific scape on Le Mans. I've done the laps around the NASCAR circuits on ovals. Done everything except for two. And once those two are done, we'll have the platinum and we'll get it up there. And that's a few achievements then. This will be the first game I've ever got platinum on and it's the one game I've really committed to and dedicated to getting completed. Now for those of you that are thinking, what the hell are you doing trundling round for that last lap? Why didn't you just back off and just end the race? Well, this was all about the eighth lap, folk. you can, folks. You can skip this if you like and get to the end. But this is, this is all about the eighth lap and making it possible. Are nine laps possible? Don't think so. Not on this car. I suppose if you were to feather out the fuel a bit and try and skip a pit stop, because we could have done three laps as we did on the opening stint, then, then stop again on the sixth lap, but it's still two stops. We still had to stop twice. So we're doing the third lap on this set of tyres because it's not under pressure and we're under fuel. We only fuel to complete two laps. So we did all right we got across the line with around about two seconds to spare which i didn't think we would get when we left the pits i really didn't but there it is eight laps eight laps in the 30 minute race we might get caught no we won't they're, they're miles away behind us they're not on their way to catching us they're doing they're doing the same pace around the lap but yeah over the next couple of days folks you'll see You'll see some changes, you'll, you'll start to see, um, well there'll be a Sophie race and that'll give it away won't they, because I'll, I'll do the races against Sophie and see how badly I do against that, because I've been so looking forward to racing against Sophie and I really do hope, because it's only a demo, I really do hope they don't end the demo as I purchase the PS5, that would just, that uh, pull my legs off that one it'd be like well that would just be shockingly bad so please refuel it says remaining laps none the car squirting along like they recognised 49 mile an hour for running out of fuel and we'll complete the race so massive thanks for stopping along, watching, understanding. You can steal this setup, folks. Go off and win this race and do what you want to. If it doesn't interest you, not to worry. Move on. I know some of you don't actually watch the race. You just take the setup and go and try it yourself. It's up to you. You'll find out. You'll work it out. You'll do what you need to do. You're all good enough and perfectly capable enough to win. If you watch me, you'll know that it's... Uh, easy come easy go kind of style but here we go coming across the line for a six minute 50 lap happy days and there she is cracking little car should have done that with a different skin i think but for some reason the skin when i put it on it doesn't take so the ra 27265 stunning car fastest lap 404061 we lapped everybody
don't think we actually lapped anybody more than once. No. Here it is. Clean race bonus for 825,000. 203 miles done for the day. Well, not bad for a weeknight. There she is on the old replay. And there she is, folks. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Enjoy it. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. All the best.